Hello, good evening. How is everyone? Hello, Blanca, Ana, Cristina. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening, Ana. How are you? I am fine. And you? I'm fine. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Anna? Teacher. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, okay. No, Anna, no. All right. Blanca, tell me a little bit about yourself. For example, my name is Blanca. I am 18 years old. I study. Tell me about yourself. Um, my name is Blanca Benavides. I am uh, 23 years old. I have I live in Arcata. And Do you, do you have what in Qatar? I live in Arcatao, Charatenango. Ah, okay, okay. In Charatenango? Yes. Okay, okay. Good. A little far. I live in Santa Tecla. So, yesterday it was raining. And in Charatenango, in Alcatar, was it raining? Yes, yes. It's raining. Someone. Okay, and today? Oh, no. Today, no. Today, no. Okay, okay, good. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, Carla, tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? Fine. My name is Carla Maria Albergue. And I'm 42 years old. And I have uh, one boy. Uh, his name is Carlos Emilio, and he has uh, eleven years old. And I, I am a lawyer. Nice to and see. And I live in Santa Ana City. Yes, nice to see you again, Carla. Good that you are. Yes, back. me too, teacher. <laughs> great, great. Okay, good. We have another Carla also today. We have two Carlas now. Mm -hmm. Carla Eugenia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carla Eugenia. Uh, my name is Carla Eugenia Hernandez Sotelo. I live in uh, Soyapango, San Salvador. Okay. And uh, I am a 43 year old. Um, Um, okay, you don't work. Yes. Okay. I am I am a administration uh gerente administrativo manager. Man administrative manager mm -hmm. and uh homie SADCB. In where? Homie SADCB. Homie Homie is yeah. like the homie from like the homie H O 
M I E. Yes. Interesting. What do you do at home? What is home? Um, drogueria, oh. laboratorio, okay. cadena de farmacias y distribuidora de. Um, somos distribuidores exclusivos de la marca Herbert. Este, Matilde Vicenzi, que es una marca de galleta, okay. gourmet. Este, se me va un poquito las otras marcas de galleta y ahorita hemos tomado la distribución en distribución de Saboré, que es una marca de dieta de Guatemala. Excellent. Now tell me in English. Now that you explain in Spanish. You're, you are amazing in Spanish. It's like you are a native speaker. Wow. Tell me in English. And, uh, e homie is a drogeria, laboratory, mm -hmm. and pharmacy, and distribu distribu distribution, mm -hmm. and galletas, cookies. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. What cookies? Uh, Matilde Vicenzi. Matilde Vicenzi, uh huh. Este, Bogremer in uh, Mark Italy. Okay. And uh, uh, distribution, Mark Savore in a uh, diet. Great. The correct the correct vocabulary is brand. It's a brand. It's an Italian mm -hmm. brand, for example, or a Mexican brand. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much. All right. Anybody else would like to introduce themselves before we begin? Um, only. Oh. And, uh, Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería? Empresa hermana. Uh, uh, a sister, a company, I guess, would be the closest. Uh, sister, a company, and um, ONG. NGO? Yes. How do you say it? And I, uh, OM? No. O M no. Uh, o M and a uh, and O N G. No, it's in the chat. O no. Look in the chats. Look in the chat. N G O. Exactly, N G O. There you go. Very good. Excellent. All right. Perfect. Well, I see. It's good to have many people. We got some more. Okay. Now, we are ready to start. In this level, uh, we're going to be together for four weeks. But in this level, we have two days that we don't have class. Uh, this is May 1st and May 10th. Because of this, we are going to have two Fridays that we have class. Not this week, but later, they're going to tell you what days they are. Okay? So the week that we have vacation, for example, May 1st, we have class on Friday. The week that we have uh, May 10th, the day off, we have class on Friday. Okay, so the course is going to finish May 12th. The last day of class is going to be May 12th. Any questions? No yet, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. No, good evening. Okay, great. Well, if there are no questions, then we are ready to begin. Let's start off with the introduction, and then we begin with our units. The first thing is here, this is pre-intermediate module three, right? Everybody's correct? Excellent. So here we have five sections. We need to complete this week and next week, section one, two, and three, and also the midterm. This we're going to complete in the first two weeks. Then in the next two weeks, we're gonna complete section four and five and the final exam. The midterm is units one, two, and three, and the final exam is unit one, two, three, four, and five. 
in order to pass to the next level, you need to have 80 or more. You can click in Progreso where it says progress. And here you can see, you need to have, oh, they put it 75, but you go for 80% or more, okay? So remember to try to do the best in each section. How do you know what to do in each section? It's super easy. For example, in each section, there's going to be a little notebook with a pen. This part right here is the knowledge check. All of the knowledge checks are obligation to have a grade. If you pass all the knowledge checks, then you can get your diploma. Any questions? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, good. So let's see to make sure everybody understands. Rodrigo Jose, when is the last day of the course? Hello, teacher. Uh, good evening. Uh, could you repeat uh, that again, please? Yes. When is the last day of the course? The last day? Mm -hmm. May I help you, teacher? I think Rodrigo needs help. Yes, I think Rodrigo needs help. Go ahead. Help him. May 12th? May, you say, teacher, May 12th. Thank you. Thank you for paying attention. Exactly. May 12th. May 12th is the last day of class. Excellent. And we are going to do this week and next week. Jonathan Marroquin, what units are we going to do this week and next week? Hi. Good evening. And this week, the unit one. Mm -hmm. And the next week, the unit two, or I don't remember. Okay, mm, not correct, not correct. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, na, I think it's Nazario, is that right? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, Nazario, what units are we going to do this week and next week? Repeat, teacher, please. What units are we going to do this week and next week? When, two, and three, teacher. Correct, one. And, and the two, final three. test. And the midterm, exactly. Mid midterm, sorry, midterm. That's Correct. right. We have a lot of work for the next two weeks. Yeah, and the unit four and five for the another two weeks. Exactly. And the, and the final test too. Perfect. Thank you very much. Douglas, what two days we are not going to have class? Go ahead, Douglas. Mm -hmm. Hello, um... Oh, Friday. Mm, I think Douglas having problems. No, Douglas. Uh huh. Alba, what two days we don't have class? No, Alba. No, Alba. Okay, ever. What two days we don't have class? No, ever, too. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. Christina, what two days we don't have class? Um, uh -huh, Christina, no, wow, okay. So I see we didn't pay attention one more time. There is no class May 1st for the because it is the workers day and then on May 10th because it is Mother's Day. Those two days we don't have class and we are going to have classes the weeks on Fridays in order to make up those days. Okay? Cause it's holiday teacher. Correct, because it's a holiday, exactly. 
Okay. Yeah, I was checking my calendar. That's okay. right. Exactly. Monday one, Monday first, and Wednesday ten. Excellent. That's right. Good. And let's take a look. Carla, uh, Eugenia, what is the minimum score to pass the level? Am I 12? No, the minimum score. Mm -hmm. Carla Alvarenga, Alvarenga, sorry, sorry. What is I the- I don't remember, teacher, but I think so 80% or- Correct, 80% or more to pass the level. Yes. Good. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to, I'm going to share my screen with you we're going to watch a small video and then after the video we begin with the activities okay that's right teacher. all right excellent let's take a look let's watch this video and then we begin el insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insaport, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los centros de formación fijos donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía, 
en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. ¿Qué te hace sudar? Solo Rexona Clinical te ofrece tres veces. Ok, there we go. Any questions about the video? I would like to watch this video in English. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's good, right? But in support, that's, they only make right. it in Spanish. Uh -huh. Thanks to the president for help, all of us. Uh -huh. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay. Let's take a look. In this class, what are we going to learn? Mm, let's see. Cristina, can you please read? In, uh, in each session, participants will listen. Es, esa? Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. It's okay, Cristina. Okay. In each session, participants do listen to a conversation about a city where others before objecting are used. Okay, good. Only the pronunciation used. Used, okay. Okay, good. Here, let's watch a small video about the description of a city. Hi, welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. First, are there any words you don't understand or don't know how to pronounce? Not for me, teacher. Okay. Good. Anybody else? Have the meaning uh, fairly in Spanish. Where? Fairly, it's a fairly big city. It's like there is a little big. Oh, okay. Or somewhat big. Mm -hmm. uh, the pronunciation, the weather? Weather. Weather. The weather. Mm -hmm. Fantastic beef be como se dice la siguiente beach fantastic beaches beaches correct beaches any other words okay good so what are we going to do? In this moment, we have this conversation in WhatsApp. That's a really nice city. Or you can watch it here in the video, here in the platform, 1.11. We're going to practice it two times. One time Eric, one time Carmen. 
And then we change. Then it's Carmen and Eric. Okay. So with our partner, Eric Carmen, then Eric Carmen, right? We change the roles. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, teacher. All right, perfect. So we have a couple people. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Not a long time, only a few minutes because the conversation is short. So let's go quickly. Nasa? I don't know what happened with the, the internet t-shirt. Do you have any problem with the internet? No, I think only you I are saw two. a little I bit saw... of issues. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, I sent you to a group again. Let's try one more time. Okay, any questions, any difficulties? Yes, no teacher. one, teacher. Yes, what is the question? Can, uh, 
and in done the very reason reasonable 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 let's see where and um, and carmen not is no it, it's not very expensive price are pretty reasonable 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 do you understand what are reasonable and um, reasonable correct exactly not expensive not expensive and not cheap. For example, uh, the price is reasonable, is the pupusa for 50 cents. is not cheap, it's not expensive. It's logical, the price is reasonable. But in some restaurant, one and a half dollar t-shirt. Correct. It's so expensive. <laughs> it's so expensive, exactly, exactly, it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fairly Any other questions? Hmm? Fairly big city. Repeat. Fairly big city. Fairly big city. What was fairly? I don't know. Fairly. No, we said at the beginning of the class. That's why I asked the other partners. What is fairly, guys? Remember what is fairly? A city too small, too small city. No, not too small city. Is like the word pretty, pretty big city. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So fairly is pretty big. This is the same for a little. No, 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 a little, but is because they have the word big. That's the the difference is fairly big. So it's similar, a little big city, no, a little city. It's okay. It's like a reasonable city teacher. It's a little it's, big it's, city. It's right. in the middle, in the midterm. Yes, for a city, for example, maybe. Mm, Not the biggest. Like Santa Ana, how is Santa Ana? Huh? Santa Ana is a fairly big city. I'm from Santa Ana, teacher. Exactly, it's not too big. It's not too big, that's right. Exactly. But, it's, but it's beautiful. Exactly, that's a fairly big city. It's very beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I am here in New York singing to you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, good. Let's continue the next part of the class. Let's see our next objective. Mm -hmm. uh, Rodrigo, can you please read? Okay, in this class, participants will learn the use of adverbs before adjectives. Correct. Remember, adjectives describe things, people, places. You see, for example, beautiful, uh, pretty, uh, blue, green. These are the adjectives. Adverbs describe how. You do something. I walk quickly, slowly, fast. This describes how. Adverbs, how you do the action. Adjectives describe the objects. Okay? Let's take a look at the short video. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. 
Another verb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too. Yeah, it's important so that you understand, okay? So the most extremely, and then little by little by little, to the least amount, okay? So a lot, a lot, mm, uh, a little bit less, a little bit less, and then very little, the somewhat. Does that help you? Okay. From the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. Hi. So how do we use it? Similar to the chart here. Remember, you use the adverb first and then you describe. It is really extremely fairly, somewhat, pretty, really. All of these are to describe the city. So in 1.3, here, we're going to take a moment, and here we're going to put where it says, añade una publicación, and you're going to write, okay? Write down one sentence with each, with the words that we have. What are the words that we have? Here, I'll show you one more time. Oh, I think it's better, this one. Extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, somewhat. Please write down not the, all of the sentences, but write down four sentences. So in this moment, write down four sentences here using the correct vocabulary, okay? For this, we have two minutes and then we check here in the platform. So two minutes, write in the four different examples describing your city, okay? So, for example, I live in Santa Tecla. So, in Santa Tecla, it is a pretty noisy city because I live near Paseo del Carmen. So, the idea is, hmm, it's kind of a noise. How do I know? Because here, pretty is over here, right? Extremely, very, really is more than pretty. Are we ready? It's okay, the idea? That's right. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. okay, you have two minutes right now and then right in the chart. 1.3. And then we check. In the platform, teacher? Yes, in the platform, okay. Carla. Not in the chat, teacher. No, not in the chat for the class, in the platform, in the discussion box here. Mm -hmm.
Okay, are we ready? Let's take a look. Mm, todavía no hay publicaciones. Okay. I have, I have closed the platform edition, so I couldn't find the, the address. I'm trying to check it. Okay, okay, go for it. Somebody have the link for the platform? I don't have it. It's in the WhatsApp or no? I oh, know that's the link for the for the class. This is for a class and the link for the, link the, for the, the, the YouTube. Yes, in your email. <laughs> All right, San Miguel is extremely hot. Very nice. Let's see. Um, but Douglas, remember, you have to make four sentences. No, one sentence, Douglas. Four sentences. Hi, in this four video, of the expensive words. is the... Mm -hmm. Where was it? There we go. You need to use four of these. Okay, 30 seconds and then we continue. If not, then you finish for homework. Okay, I see. Um, I live in very hot weather, it is. I live in San Vicente, very nice. Henry, okay, good. The same idea, Henry, remember four sentences, no one sentence. Okay, we're going to continue. If you're not finished for homework, you have to finish four. We're going to check there tomorrow. Make sure that everyone has four sentences in the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go ahead and continue. We're going to see if you understood for the first part of the lessons with the idea of with adjectives, adjectives and adverbs. So here we can see we have four questions, okay? Number one, you have to read the question. What are you going to put, okay? So what's so like? It's an interest, is it an interesting place? What do you think would be the best answer? The same for number two, three, and four. For this one, you will have four minutes with your partner to answer, and then we're going to check together. So you have four minutes with your partners, and then we check. You ready?
Okay, let's try number one. What's number one? The third. The third? Yes. Okay. Number three, teacher. Number three. Okay, no problem. We're going to check. Good. Number two. Number four. Number four. Not really, it's so small. Good. Number three. Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay. And the last one, number four. Number two. Okay, pretty good. Look, it's correct, 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 and correct. Amazing job. Congratulations. Very good comprehension. Any questions? No, teacher. The vocabulary is okay? All right, well then let's continue. We have one more activity before we finish. I'm sorry. Yes, Douglas. What is harbor? Harbor, like in Hawaii? Um, qu question, question three. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Like in Hawaii, Douglas, in Pearl Harbor. The bomb? For the Japanese, the Japan attacked the United States in Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. Uh, okay. in, World War, in World War II, remember the, the Japanese, the Nazis, pa, 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 the Japanese attack Pearl Harbor. In, in El Salvador, I think we have a harbor in La Union for the, for the Navy. Acahutla, in Acahutla, 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 thank you, in Acahutla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's okay, Doug? Yes. Okay, excellent. Now let's take a look here. What is the next topic that we're going to have? Mm -hmm. In Christina, can you please read? Yes, is this session participant group now identified and you, you say con, con, con my conjunction, con, conjunction, search and as and both, don't and how, how what? However, however, but here we're going to learn how all of these conjunctions in the bottom here, we can see the meaning. Okay. We have conjunctions right there. Okay. So we're going to see and, but, though, and however. It's okay. The meaning of the different conjunctions. Yes. yes. Okay. Let's watch a small video of the conjunctions. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city. And the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. 
Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one and it goes in the middle of a sentence and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay. So? Did you notice which punctuation? First, want to make sure it's okay and and to join two sentences, right? Then we use but for positive and negative or negative and positive, right? The idea is for two different types of ideas. This is but. Then we have the word however and though, okay? They are used to connect positive and negative ideas, but no, like but is at the end, no in the middle. It's the only difference. Like but, but at the end. Yes? No, I don't understand doubt. Okay, so uh, do you like pizza, Liz? Lil? Um, just teacher. Okay. Okay. Do you like pizza? Do you like soda? Yes, I like coca. It's together. I like pizza and soda. We join the two um, sentences together. And yes, this is and. This is and to join the and, two. And. Mm -hmm. This is the and. Okay. Then we use but. Um, I like pizza but mm, not soda, or I like pizza, but not pizza hut, uh, mm -hmm. is to separate the idea. One positive and one negative. This is but. Yes. Okay. And however, and the other is the same. How they are the same as but, but we use at the end. We don't use at the beginning. But. Trout, I don't understand uh, the meaning. Yes. Okay. This here is the meaning right here. What is though? Okay, okay. Now it's okay? Yes. Yes, Good. Good. Now remember, it's the same idea, but at the end. Okay. So, what are we going to do in this moment? Super easy. We're going to take a moment and describe your city Sa La Palma, La Union, Santa Ana, eh, wherever you are from. We're going to take a moment with our partners and describe your city what you like, what you don't like. Um, I like Santa Ana is a nice city, but okay. What is the negative? Or, for example, for me, San Miguel is a pretty city, but it's too hot. Okay. So take a moment with your partners. Let's try it. One moment. Let me put a little bit less. There.
Are you okay ever? Okay. Great. Any questions hey. before we finish? Hey, teacher, the meeting with my classmate was hardest. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. That's Excellent. great. Wonderful. I'm glad. I'm glad. This yeah. is the objective to practice more yeah. speaking, more speaking, yeah. more speaking. I was talking with Carla and Rodrigo. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for connecting tonight. I appreciate it. I hope you connect tomorrow and we continue for the next part of our unit one tomorrow. Okay? That's right, teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay, teacher. Have a nice to see you. Have a good night. Have a good night. You too. See you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. To the same channel same time <laughs> that's right